Good morning, folks. This is Real with Robo. Today I'm going to be speaking on a topic that I just read about. Um, apparently, in Minnesota, in a hospital, where all the people in the hospital have taken an oath to do no harm, where all the people in that hospital try and make you well and bring you back to health and bring you back to life, okay? All these people, that's what they do. Doctors and nurses, that's what they do. They, they try and give you medical care to bring you to good health or to bring you back to life, and they promise not to do harm. Well, I read about it today that in that hospital in Minnesota, the nurses, the doctors, everybody allowed three aborted babies that survived the abortions to die. Three babies. Really? Yeah. So they survived the abortion, they allowed them to die. Isn't that tantamount to murder? Murder by neglect? Tantamount. Tantamount, excuse me. I can't speak today. It, it, it's, it, it's the same thing. And the funny thing is, is the pictures of the babies looked like they were about seven or eight months old. If I remember correctly, but mine were big babies, so they look they look like Nani did when she was born and she was a little bitty preemie. So I'm imagining about seven, eight months in the womb, the lady had an abortion or the ladies had an abortion and they botched the abortion and the baby survived. And the doctors and the nurses let the babies die. Those who vowed to do no harm. Wow. The most defenseless, innocent creatures on this planet were allowed to succumb to death. I mean, the mothers should be charged with premeditated murder. Just for the simple fact, those children could have lived. The doctors and the nurses also charged with premeditated murder. And I'm, you could ask my husband, I've never been really caring if someone got an abortion or not. I don't condemn, I don't condone. For the simple fact, I had a medical abortion during an experience of domestic violence where I had to have the baby aborted because the baby was going to die and so was I. That's, that's one of the excuses I dig on. If the mother and the baby are going to die, then I believe that, I, I believe fully that abortion should be allowed. I believe if a rape victim comes to the doctors and says, hey, look, you know, I got raped a month ago and I just found out I'm pregnant. I don't want this baby. Cool beans. But... If that rape victim goes up to nine months, like apparently lives in New York or something, and then says, abort this child, I think she should be held accountable just the same as any other person. And that may be cold-hearted to some people, but what's heartless is letting three babies die and watching them die, and quote-unquote making them comfortable while they die. Y'all nasty bitches out there. 
I'm going to put it to you like this. You have no excuse. My daughter, my teenage kids are getting condoms, all sorts of sexual shit pushed on them. And they in their teens. You have no excuse. Well, I don't like condoms. They don't feel right. Well, then get the shot. Well, I can't get the shot because I'm allergic to the shot. Well, get the IUD. No excuse. They even have a day after birth control pill. You have no excuse. None. You want to call me heartless for saying what I said? Why don't you look at yourself? You're allowing nine-month-old babies that have sentient or sentient beings to be murdered instead of taken to that hospital and turned in and say, look, I don't want this child. And believe me, hospitals, fire departments, police stations had this all over, all over the TV back in the 90s, back in the 2000s. Those are supposed to be safe places where you could drop your baby off, an unwanted newborn. No questions would be asked. No papers would be signed or filed. Just drop them off. Say, I don't want the child and go. And just for those curious, I've never taken advantage of that. Even though now some days I wish I would. My kids are gremlins. I'm just kidding. I'm playing. I'm playing. But, you know, I, I had to lighten the mood there because, you know, this is ridiculous. Those children were sentient beings. They had life. And just like an abusive spouse, all you guys are doing is going on a power trip. You have the right to choose between life and death of another but then again, in the legal system, that's also uh, called murder. When somebody feels they have the power to choose between life and death for somebody. And that has always been wrong. Both to the left and the right. Why isn't it wrong here? Oh, because the babies are unwanted. Then why didn't you protect yourself? Oh, because I... Uh, 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 then why didn't you get it earlier? Oh, because, you know, my boyfriend came back and we made up and then I wanted the baby and to be a family and then he cheated on me and left me and I didn't want it again. And you know what? No. You're playing with a life. And you should have exactly the same punishment as others that take lies. And that's my stance now. I've always, be, being a Democrat, I've always rode the fence. I've always rode the fence. I have a saddle for how much I rode the fence on that issue. It's none of my business. They do what they want to do. But it has now gotten to the point where y'all nasty, filthy bitches, hoes, that want to spread your leg for everything walking, but don't want to protect yourself. Want to go all the way up to nine months and then abort a child, kill a life. Now, that's premeditated murder. You had nine months to think about it. You don't need, but when you find out that you're pregnant, if you could deal with that child or not. Now, see, I still kind of ride the fence on that issue because if it's a rape victim and they find out they're pregnant and say, I don't want this child, okay. I'm not mad at you. You know, because that was 
that child was not made out of her consent. I could feel that. But if that same rape victim go all the way to nine months, then decide to abort it, then yes, she should be charged with premeditated murder. That's my feels on that. If the DV person, domestic violence person, you know, if the baby's going to kill the mama and the baby, then I could understand an abortion. Because maybe the mama wanted the baby like I wanted my baby. And I went through hell. I was like, is there any other way? I mean, can, can, can the baby live with just like medical help or something? And they said, no. Your baby is nothing but a spine, a skull, and a brain. It would live in a pickle jar. And I decided it was the best thing. Not to let that child suffer. I, I was still care for it. I mean, I was still fighting to the end. I was still, are you sure? Because, um... This pickle jar, does it need to have machines hooked up to it, or what do I need to do? And the nurses and the doctors looked at me like I was stupid as fuck. They said, no, you don't understand. If the baby stays in you, it will kill you and itself. It was half miscarried when your husband beat on you or your boyfriend beat on you that was my first ex and I was like so there's no hope there's absolutely no way and they said no unless you want to die with the baby the baby will never come to term and I made the decision and I went through the process and I'd like to ask people from the right to please stop posting that process. Because for people like me, we already know what it's like. Mine was not agreed to on my part. It wasn't my doing. And that shit hurts me. Quit posting that shit. Okay? For real. Anyway. So yeah. That's my stance now. Unless it's medical. Unless it's rape victim. I don't believe. Anyone should have an abortion. They should use protection. They should use the day after pill. They should think about what they're doing before they do it. And they definitely shouldn't wait until they nine months. And if they do, then they should be charged with premeditated murder. Because it's just the same. Serial killers, serial killers, murderers out there, they believe they have the power to choose if the person deserves life or death. That's exactly what you're doing. It's not your choice. It's the baby's choice. It's the life's choice. Not yours. So when you say, it's my body, it's my choice, what about the baby's body? What about the baby's choice? What about those three babies that were left to die in a place where they take oaths to do no harm? Where they help people get back to health and save them from death. All y'all should be held accountable. All y'all should be charged. 
all y'all should be charged with at least murder and tormenting during the murder. I understand if it's just that one month when you find out that you're pregnant, you don't want it, okay? It hasn't became a baby yet. I understand that. I'm still down for that. I still don't condemn or condone. But if you go all the way to six months, seven months, eight months, nine months, where the baby is fully formed and has its own life, then you are a murderer. And it's not your body, nor your choice. Because you forget that child, that's its body. What about its choice? It didn't ask to be brought into this world, but it developed and it became a sentient being. And it has the right to choose to live or die. You're hollering at Republicans, get out of my vagina. You shouldn't be able to tell me what I can and can't do. And yet you don't even respect that child's right to say what it can and can't do. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. And that's just like the left. You're a bunch of hypocrites in all manners. And when I use those terms, they still have meaning. Because I don't just use them to use them and to virtue signal and to make peace and appease everybody. If you wait till the 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth month, even the 5th, you should be charged with murder because you're killing a sentient being. You are killing a person that has the right to live. And if you believe that you have the right to kill somebody, then you're no different than murderers on death row. They believe the same thing. Y'all should get together and go bowling in prison, away from me, over there. And a special shout out to Alyssa Milano. Don't come down to the South to do your videos, your movies, your whatever. Don't do it. Because if you believe a woman should be able to murder a baby when they're nine months old, in the womb, we don't want your nasty down here, no way. And that's real with Robo.